a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, um, I did a f nine, nine part series of videos on how I made a coil winder for my, my Myford lathe and it's something I've never done before and uh, I made this prototype coil winder and I rewound my magneto for my motorbike with it um, it's the first time I've, I've ever done it and I was on a steep learning curve and if you look back at me past videos which is that one, parts 1 to 9 you'll see how I made this coil winder uh, prototype and there's actually a drawing with all measurements on that and what I've done since then I'm about to start another uh, what a friend of mine wants is winding so I thought well I'd, I'd upgrade this one and finish it finish it off properly so I thought I'd just show you it finished uh, if you can see all that in camera just a minute basically all I've done I've the dimensions and everything are the same as in that uh, first part which I've shown you with drawing in the, the dimensions have stayed the same and I've just refined it a little bit, I've shaped it and I've done a few modifications where the drum, where the sp spool of wire fits I've put a spring on at the back here to, 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 as a tensioner instead of that locking nut I had on so that's automatically tensioned up now to different tensions and I've I've made a bush for this pulley at the top the same as before that that would do my locking nuts to get me the right tension but now I've I've put a bush in the middle that's a bit wider than the than the wheel for the wire to run round so when it's clamped up this this wheel always runs free uh, and then the, the three spindles that do all the work I had to wind them in and out uh, by hand each time on these threads so what I've done on all the all the holes that matter I've put slots in so they just slot out uh, as a unit so I can put my spool on and just slot it in rather than threading everything through what else have I done uh, I've given it a lick of paint and I've put this uh, uh, this uh, fixture on to keep me, me different size tips in so that they're all safe and I don't lose them. I've only got two at the moment but I envisage I'll probably need five different sizes but I've only got two so I've made a space for five sizes. So yeah that's where I'm up to with that. Now I don't, I'm not sure if I've shown you how I uh, wired this all up threaded it all up so I'll just take it over to the lathe because I'm ready for setting it up in the lathe now and I'll just explain again uh, exactly how, how I sent the wire around so just bear with me and I'll move camera over to my for the lathe right so I've took my tool post off my Myford and all that happens is this just slots onto, to, onto the compound slide with the tool tool post usually goes that just slots on uh, then I've got a, a few a few uh, spaces here which I put on with, with nut on but just for the time being I'll just put the tool post back on just so you can so you can see it set up uh, and it just clamps on to that with one hole that's all it needs that's quite adequate and I'll just put me my armature in then you can see the whole setup again I'm struggling for room here just a minute that's it cameras in way so so basically I'll just move the camera so you can see the whole that's it so here's my spool of wire again and what, what happens is I've, I'm taking this very fine wire well any wire that you're using it goes up through this friction wedge which is split in half and it pushes into this washer to give different tensions and then up through that wedge you want to go three full turns around this wheel and then 
your wire is going to come off then and enter this guide tube and I can't do it now because I need my magnifying glass and I've, I've, not got it, I've not got it available at the moment so I'm going to thread it through that guide tube take my little nozzle out here and this applies to any wire that, you, that you're going to use it's going to come through here the wire then I'm going to get my magnifying glass and just thread it through this I think it's less less than a 64th hole this very fine one so I can't do it with me with my own eyesight and it magnify it so that's that's all that's all it is really uh, once you've got that nozzle threaded up and screwed back in then what I shall be doing I'll have to move camera for that though but I'm not ready for doing it anyway I've got to solder this very fine wire onto this transition wire and then I can start my coil winding and you can see all that done in them uh, parts 1 to 9 of them videos I did um, when I did my prototype one so this is my finished item now uh, I'll basically all I've done I've, 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 I've upgraded this, this wheel so it doesn't need these um, locking nuts to to adjust the tension I've upgraded this uh, this spindle for the coil of wire so it's spring loaded now and you can adjust that tension and then I've upgraded it with these slots so the spindles just slot out without having to mess about unscrewing everything all the time uh, and that's it then so I just thought I'd update you with that uh, now it's finished so anyway, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll catch you on one of my next projects probably. Bye then.